Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of What's for Dinner and this is just going to be part of dinner. I'm actually making some baked chicken but I'm going to make Indian potato and cauliflower. It's actually called Alu Gobi. Gobi, I'm not sure how you say it but it's basically fried potatoes and cauliflower with um, onions and uh, I got some serrano peppers garlic paste and some spices and then you cook that all up and you add actually peas to it at the last minute and I'm gonna go ahead and cut up all the stuff fry it in the pot on the stove and uh, let it cook for a little while and it should come out nice and tasty and I'll show you what it looks like at the end okay so I got the oil going a little bit it's getting warm I'm gonna put in a little bit of cumin and fry that up About a tablespoon or so. And I have this whole little metal thing with all different spices in it, Indian spices, so that's one of them. I'm gonna get that fried up. Okay, now that's toasting up a little bit. I'm gonna, um, I chop the onion. So add that in. Put the onion in. It's hard to cook with one hand. Yes. I'm gonna cut up the cauliflower, the potatoes, and the serrano pepper. Add that the serrano pepper. Those are added in. I'm gonna stir those up and add the rest of the stuff. Okay, so that's going. And now I can add in the cauliflower. That'll probably cook down. I'll add that in. And next up comes the potatoes. So it's cooking. And then I've got the stuff in. I cut up the potatoes. <laughs> there you go. Sorry about the one handed. So now I'm going to let that <coughs> simmer in. Getting that pepper kicked back. So I'm going to let that simmer for a while and I'll show you what it looks like later on. So hopefully this will be good once it's cooked up. It's going to take a little while for all the potatoes to cook and be cooked through. So I'll be watching it throughout the time. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of spices. I've got some curry paste or ginger paste in there. A little bit of that. We have some, let's see, we need some, a little bit of garam masala in there. These are the spices now. A little bit of garam masala to get the flavor. A little bit of coriander. Bring out more spices than that. Um, I did the cumin already. A little bit of turmeric. And there, these are little Indian spices. A little bit of turmeric for the color. And this is the paprika as well. A little bit of paprika. Look at that. And also have curry. I'm going to use this curry. Okay, this is curry powder. This is hot Indian curry, so don't want a whole lot of that. Okay, so now make a noise and stir all that in. Let it brown. And let that cook for a little while. I'm going to cover it up. 
and get it all stirred up. Okay, so I did some fresh squeezed, squeezed lemon juice. I'm gonna add that in there. It takes about two tablespoons, but I think that'll make a little bit good of a this. So I'm gonna let, turn this way down and let it simmer for a little while, and I'll be back. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. The cauliflower is cooked down a little bit. Potatoes have cooked down. They're still a little bit firm, but you can see how the color has really turned with the turmeric, the curry powder. And I'm just gonna wait until these get nice and soft and then I'll add some peas in there at the end. And that will be at least my side dish for dinner. And I'm, like I said, I'm just having some baked chicken to go along with it, and also some non bread. You could actually make curry chicken, or you can just have this if you're just true vegetarian. And like I said, I bought some non bread from the grocery store. It's always good. You can have it right with rice as well, basmati rice. But this is just a one side dish that I'm making, and I didn't want to double up on the curry since this is just a vegetarian side dish. So some of you guys might like this, especially if you're an Indian cook. It's like a staple, one of their main dishes, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the peas in. So yep. stay tuned. I'm gonna add some frozen peas in it. You don't have to put them in, but I like to have the contrast, so. Frozen pea in all over the place. She said. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there we go. Ah, that's about good enough. Don't want to overdo it on the peas. And like I said, these will cook down. Thaw out. Add a little more juice to them. And there you go. Start to look up pretty good. And like I said, I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Let that one simmer for a little while. Let those everything meld in there. Kind of get done. The potatoes might be a little tough, so they gotta really cook down. The cauliflower is gonna be a little firm. There you go. That's going to be the finished product. But I'm going to let that simmer a little bit and let the peas get kind of thawed and let everything cook. I've got it on low. I'm going to cover it up and let it go. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. There's the finished cauliflower and potatoes and the curry sauce with the peas and I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit make sure that the potatoes are done and that the cauliflower is done I don't know it also depends on how firm you like your potatoes and your cauliflower if you just like them to where they're still fairly crunchy and firm or if you like them soft and kind of mushy I kind of like it in the middle but that's where we're at on that you can see the sauce kind of cooked down. The peas got all in there and it kind of made like a little sauce or a little paste. Like I said, I'm gonna cook that with, serve that with a chicken breast and some naan bread. So like I said, you don't have to put all the hot peppers in there. You don't have to put any of the real super hot stuff. You just put in the Indian spices and um, let, let it off, let it at that with um, very mild curry powder. Some turmeric for the flavoring you don't have to put any hot peppers anything like that and you don't have to put peas in it if you don't like but that's what is for dinner for me at least for the side dish and um once i get the rest of it done i'll show you what it all looks like together on the plate but that is what is for my dinner at least for my side so those of you that were saying you know when are you going to make a vegetarian dish well here you go guys Here's a vegetarian dish for you. So, till next time on Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be making something good for you for what's for dinner. This has been another episode, and I'll talk to you guys 
later. So there you go. Lou Gobi and baked chicken and non bread. That's what's for dinner.